today. From Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, it's week five of the NFL on EA Sports. field they're all set as they'll match up with their opponents Receiving wise last week, what a ball game. receiving touchdowns. And he's not just a specialty guy either. They went to him when they were in the red zone. Went to him when they weren't in the red zone. Anytime they could, for obvious reasons. Just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Gonna look deep for Jeffrey. Man, it's caught inside the 10. Pass complete to Alshon Jeffrey. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years, and the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that. From what we said, if you had told me that that ball was gonna get from point B, I would have told you no way. I mean, that was an absolute cannon shot. And he still dropped it right on the money, too. Flushed. This will be caught at about the five. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team. There's a point scored in the NFL. So when they're that high-powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So and he'll take it into the end zone. Yeah. A five touchdown run. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. Right after him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that fill. Give him credit for making it happen. right at mid well, That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled. We always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books, but now they have to make that up again, don't they? On play action, they'll throw. Flush to his right. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. He's got a man complete. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. And boy, that was something to watch. These guys came out here in the first quarter. They really put their stamp on this game early with their play calls, and they certainly look good. And the final number of the next-gen stats, that full 59 yards through the air. A 
this for a change in field position. From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Joe Hayden. The... <laughs> Trying to shake off the intercept. And the throw left sideline here is clean. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. From the 24 to second and 10. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now we have a guy who made the catch. They think it went downfield, but came up empty. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? Going to look deep for Jeffrey. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it fell. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Love the play call that time. Love nine. You put three tight ends on the field. That screams jumbo set, running formation to a defense, right? No, they go play action and deep for just a split second. And next thing you know, completion for good yardage. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes down just shy of the 20. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. But normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run, and I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra second to a scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. Eluding the pressure right. Caught right side, it's Jeffrey. A gain of six there on yards now after that left already of course leading the NFL in receiving yardage so he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause to stay in that spot but I've been so impressed with how he's gotten it done body can stop running how about the way he competes for the football at the end of the play being chased out left and now he's going to use his legs and he'll get it here to the 10 yard line maybe not exactly what they had in mind but that scramble good for six and a first down They'll look to throw, escaping the pressure right. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. Complete. After the incomplete pass here now, and 10. Flushed out right. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield, but now it'll be third. He'll look to throw, dancing to his left. He may try and run inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. Here's a play fake as they set up. Gonna Lord Jeffrey.
to the drive. Yeah. Pete, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. To back good plays, have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. And the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it up field, and that brings up That is caught inside the five. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. And good pick up now, 22. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows that he defenders away from the ball. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Don Jeffrey with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Eagles have taken the lead. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even. Set up to throw. He 
he's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And that's caught at the 25. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. Two completions from him on this drive, and these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way, oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's gathering? That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. Had to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And it's second down. stop and make it all the way to the two. That one good for 21 yards. And it's going to yield a new set of downs. Back now in Pittsburgh. The Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. This is taken in. He's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Decision of Goodwin picking up the first, getting 14 on the scramble. As you said, the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense just doesn't. They really are because no matter what you do, the blitz coming and down he goes. The CD, you know, so often we talk about holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't hear. He had no time to do much of anything. To the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Gonna look deep for Jeffrey. They look at this, they get over, they need it, it's intercepted. Wave of players trying to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, 
Oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, winds up getting buried for the loss. Looking deep for his tight end, Ertz. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Come on! Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with six seconds to go in the game. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Back to throw. Being chased out left. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Back to throw again. And it's caught. And he's for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? ...about it, and they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So for Philadelphia, their strong September has carried over to October as they move to 5-0, and head back home next week to take on Baltimore Ravens. Meanwhile, for Pittsburgh, they'll fall to 1-4 and with a loss, and they'll try to make it next week as they host the Cleveland Browns.